having a familiar face always helps. Uh, you know, I was taught as a young age, never burn bridges. Uh, you never know what door might open later in life. And, uh, you know, that was kind of the opportunity for me. Um, him having known me, me knowing him. Um, obviously, Kevin Petullo as well, um, J. Mike, uh, even Amo, because Amo was helping out with the receivers when I was a rookie. So um, just having familiar faces um, definitely led um, in my decision to come here for sure. Is it weird to see Nick now as head coach when you do him like that? Um, yes and no. Um, obviously, he's he's got to be more vocal as a head coach and always in front of the team. Um, but even when I was at Indy with him, um, you know, you kind of just seen it trending that way that he would get a head coaching job uh, at some point. Um, you know, just the way um, he kind of went about business, obviously um, succeeding in offenses there in Indy. Um, so it wasn't a, a surprise to have him get the opportunity, but it's definitely a little bit different, like seeing him up front all the time. <laughs> it's cool, though. Is there anything different about him that you've noticed? Uh, no, I get that. I get asked that question a lot. And um, that's the only thing I can say about Nick. Like, he's the same person uh, from the first day I met him to now, um, no matter what his job title is, like, he's, he's the exact same person every single day. And um, you, you got to respect that, especially, you know, when a guy moves up in the ranks for sure. Hey, after being with Isaiah Rogers in Indy, uh, what can you tell us about his game? And for a guy who hasn't played in a year and a half, uh, what have you seen from him? Yeah, that? Um, well, just just knowing him um, and obviously seeing him out there, um, he's not really missing a beat. Uh, you can tell he stayed in shape. Um, I actually talked to him and asked him, like, they were like, what did you do for a, a whole year? And um, he was telling me, like, he was trying to emulate his schedule as, he, as if he was in the season. Um, you know, so he will – he would work out on Sundays and kind of take Tuesday as his day off and then kind of go through workouts as he was practicing. And uh, it shows, man. Um, but he, he's, a, he's a skillful player, uh, smart, instinctive. Um, he's got all the athletic ability in the world. And, um, you know, I think, I think he, he'll be a great piece to the team. Harris, your opportunity on this team is, I think, your third team, right? I mean, how do you view uh, this opportunity, one-year contract? How are you looking at your situation? Yeah. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, man, uh, you know, my career to this point, it's been a lot of ups and downs. Uh, I tend to harp on the downs more than the ups. Um, but another opportunity is all I need. Uh, that's, at the end of the day, that's all I wanted. Um, you know, I'm just a guy that's going to try to make the most of the opportunity whenever it comes, whenever it shows. And, um, you know, I take pride in that. Um, obviously, you know, the, the number of opportunities, wherever you are, uh, may be limited. Uh, but that's why I say you got to make the most of them. And um, each and every day, man, I'm just trying to get better, better at my craft, being a better teammate, being a better person, um, all the intangible things. And like I said, when opportunity comes my way, I just want to make the most of it. Harping on the, the downs instead of the ups, is that a conscious decision? Or is that something that just kind of happens? Um, I think a little bit of both. Um, I think just the guy that I am, uh, my competitive nature. Um, obviously, I love to compete with others in, in this game, in this sport. Uh, but I compete with myself a lot. And... Um, Obviously, some of my downs have been things I haven't been able to control. Uh, obviously, talking about injuries and things of that nature. Um, but some of the other things, uh, on, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, I think just being the competitive guy that I am is just, it's just something that's inside of me. I always want to be better than I was the, the previous day. So. When, There's talk when, around you the the, when you look at the speed in the room with you, know, you um, and also John Ross, I mean, what have you noticed about, about that, especially you, know, you and – yeah, um, <laughs> I mean, you can look up, look out there on the field, man, and um, flying around trying to make plays. And, uh, you know, for me, um, and I'm sure John as well, like every time you're on the field, you just want to put that speed on tape. Um, no matter if you're the number one read in the play or the last read in the play, you always just want to put that speed, uh, you know, on tape. And obviously the quarterbacks to see that, the coaches to see that, and, you know, Hopefully more opportunities come from that. Just always going hard. There's talk around the NFL that they might want to shift the workouts to late June or late July, thinking about like injuries and prevention mm -hmm. towards that. What and some have talked about how offseason schedules for players, what that looks yeah. like. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, have you what do you what do you consider? Yeah, that? Um, to be honest, uh, I haven't really put much thought into it. Um, I feel like now, like I'm year six in the league, I kind of got a um, not kind of, but I, I have a pretty good routine. Uh, you know, how I schedule my offseason um, in terms of dates and, you know, report dates and all that stuff like that. Um, but, shoot, if they're, if they're willing to push it back, like, I'm not going to be mad because that kind of just gives us more time, um, obviously, with our families. And um, kind of doing the same things, uh, just working out, like, the first two weeks of OTAs is kind of just working out and training and stuff like that, which, I mean, we're kind of doing already, you know what I mean? But then I see the side of it coming in when we do because got a lot of new faces, um, guys that you signed in free agency, and then, obviously, the draft. 
Um, so, I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing that we come in when we do because guys get to kind of be around each other, know each other, um, and create that bond early on. In your second the injury history uh, for yourself, do you think that schedule shift would help in terms of injury recovery and streamlining that to the season? Um, I mean, yes and no. Um, speaking personally, I feel like a lot of my injuries have been things out of my control. Uh, I feel like I've had a lot of freak injuries. Um, and, you know, can prevent, I don't know. Um, but, I mean, more time off, more rest, more recovery. I mean, if you're doing it the right way, then it's definitely beneficial for sure. Second round back in 19, the Eagles were very interested in you. What do you remember from yeah. uh, that period, that, that process? Yeah, um, it's actually funny because I took a top 30 visit here. And um, I remember my visit vividly um, coming in, like, just really loving the place, um, loving the staff, uh, loving the people, um, especially, like, just having uh, like conversations with Howie and just kind of just being in the building. Um, like, it felt, it felt right to me. Um, and I remember, like, going home after my top 30 visit, talking to uh, my girlfriend, wife at now, but, and my mom, like, was like, dang, I, I really like the Eagles. And that was kind of one of my teams, like, going into the draft. Like, I thought uh, that I might be here. Um, and I know that I know that there's been talks that you know it almost happened or whatever. Um, but I mean, in hindsight, of things like things always work out how they're supposed to be. You know, now I'm here, so I don't know if that it was meant to be like that. Obviously, it was, but you know, now I'm here, so. With the new the offense being fun. installed here, do you feel that it levels the playing field for you with your competition at all? Um, so I think obviously with Kellen being here, um, you know, at the end of the day, for me, like football is football, um, and obviously, like I said, like being with a familiar face um, and Nick. Um, so working with him and kind of like knowing what he's done in the past um, and then obviously Kellen being a, a different dynamic. Um, the good thing is like a lot of that stuff is similar, just different terms and different names. Um, so for me, um, it's been very easy to kind of just be in here and get an offense and understand it. So, um, yeah, I, I think that's a credit to another reason why I came here, just knowing Nick ha has some type of hand in the offense with Kellen. Um, so it, it definitely helps me. What about your impressions of Jalen Hurts so far? What are you Can you say that again? Impressions of Jalen Hurts so far. Yeah, uh, shoot. So I remember when I first like agreed to terms to come here, uh, the first person I got a text was from Jalen. And uh, he was basically just saying, like, excited to, you know, have you here. Uh, he said he kind of watched me from afar just knowing that I was a, a you know, a speedy guy, a good player, whatever. Um, but just, you know, that, that meant a lot to me uh, for him to reach out, um, you know, during that time. Um, and since I've been here, man, he's, he's been – Nose down, like just works hard. Um, he's a great leader. Um, just kind of his presence, his aura, um, it just speaks volumes of the player he is, the leader he is, the person he is, he is man. And uh, he's just grinding to get better each and every day. And, uh, you know, when you're in the building with a guy like that, you just want to play for them and want to get better with them. So. Um, yeah, so I would say that they are very, very, very detailed. Like Fernando and his team, um, they're like super, super detailed. Like even today, like we got these little things where we kind of rate our soreness uh, from the prior practice and things like that. And uh, talking with the with Steph and the nutritionists, um, just about plans and all that stuff. Like they're very, very detailed. Um, and I've been I've been in places where it's been like that, um, but I think this is kind of a, a step up. Um, just how they're so intentive for those things, and uh, I think it's definitely beneficial to the players for sure. You mentioned it a couple times uh, as far as why you came here, and even Kevin and Jason, but mm -hmm. um, having AJ and Devontae in that room as a fellow receiver, how does that uh, you sort of yeah. envision getting a lot of one-on-ones? Uh, yeah, man, to be honest with you, um, like looking at, looking at the room and looking at the situation, it's like, uh, like I'm blessed to be with, with two of the best receivers in the game. Um, and uh, from the outside looking in, like, the question is, oh, like, why would you go there? They already got these guys. But I'm like, man, I want to I wanna be around greatness. Like, I want to be in there and be with these guys and work with these guys and learn from these guys. Obviously, me and AJ came in together. Devontae came in a year after. Um, and so, like, I've, I've known AJ prior because we trained together for the combine and all that stuff. Um, but, like, to be in a room with those guys, like, it's only room for, to opportunity to, to learn more. Like, these are two of the best. Um, and if you're in a room with that, like, getting all the knowledge you can, like playing, competing with those guys, like it's only gonna make you better. So, um, like I'm blessed to be in this opportunity, blessed to be in a 